taking life naturally. Tantra says take life naturally. Do not be unreal. Sex is there as a deep possibility, a great potentiality. Use it. And what is wrong in being happy in it? Really, all moralities are against happiness. Someone is happy and you feel something has gone wrong. When someone is sad, everything seems okay. We live in a neurotic society where everyone is sad. When you are sad, everyone is happy because everyone can sympathize with you now. When you are happy, everyone is at a loss. What to do with you? When someone sympathizes you, look at his face. His face gleams. A subtle shining comes to the face. He is happy sympathizing with you. If you are happy, then there is no possibility for this. Your happiness always creates sadness in others. While you are, while your unhappiness creates happiness. This is neurosis. This very foundation seems to be mad. Tantra says be real, be authentic to yourself. Your happiness is not bad, it is good, it is not sin. Only sadness is sin, only to be miserable is sin, to be happy is virtue because a happy person will not create an unhappiness will not create unhappiness for others only a happy person can be the ground for others happiness secondly when i say that tantra is neither moral nor Im immoral i mean tantra is basically a science it looks at you at what you are it means that Tantra is not trying to transform you, but actually does transform you through reality. The difference between magic and science is the same as between morality and Tantra. Magic also tries to transform things simply through words without knowing the reality. Sometimes coincidence may be there, and then he will feel powerful, but if the thing is not going to happen according to his magic prophecy, he can always say what has gone wrong. That possibility is always hidden in his profession. With magic, everything starts with if he can say, if everyone is good, virtuous then the rain will come on a particular day if the rain comes it is okay if the rain is not coming then everyone is not virtuous there is someone who is sinner science never starts with if because science first tries to know what is real the reality once the real is known it can be transformed. Once you know what electricity it is, it can be used, transformed and used in myriad ways. A magician does not know what electricity is without knowing. Magician knows what electricity is without knowing. He, he is thinking to transform those kind of prophecies are just false illusions. Morality is just like a magic. It goes on talking about the perfect man without knowing what the real man is. The perfect man remains as a dream. It is used to condemn the real man. Man never reaches it. Tantra is science Tantra says first know what the reality is, what the man is, but do not create values or ideas for him right now. First know what it is, do not think of the ought 
instead think of what is and once the is is known then the process of change can begin then you have the secret for example tantra says do not try to go against sex because if you go against sex and try to create a state of celibacy purity it is impossible it is just magical without knowing what sex energy is without knowing of what sex is constituted without knowing deep in without going deep into the reality of it the secret of it and you can create an ideal of celibacy then what will you do you will simply suppress and a person who is suppressing sex is more sexual than a person who is indulging in it because through indulgence the energy is released through suppression it is there moving in your system continuously but whatsoever you do there has to be a constant awareness a person who suppresses sex starts seeing sex everywhere everything becomes sexual not that everything is sexual but now he projects uh, his own hidden energies are now projected everywhere he will look every wherever he will look he will see sex and because he is condemning himself uh, he will start condemning everyone else you cannot find a moralist who is not violently condemning he is condemning everyone to him everyone is wrong then he feels good his ego is fulfilled why is everyone wrong because he sees everywhere the same thing that he is suppressing his own mind will become more and more sexual and more and more he will be afraid this celibacy is perversion it is unnatural a different quality a different type of celibacy happens to the follower of tantra but the very process is totally and diametrically opposite tantra first teaches how to move in sex how to know it how to feel it how to come to the deepest possibility hidden deep within to the climax how to find the essential beauty the essential happiness and bliss that is hidden there once you know the secret you can transcend it because really in deep sexual orgasm it is not sex which gives you bliss it is something else sex is just a situation something else is giving you the euphoria the bliss the ecstasy that something else can be divided into three elements but when i speak about three elements do not think that you can understand them just from my words they must become part of your experience as concepts they are useless because of the three elements in six you come to a blissful moment a moment of ecstasy those three things are first timelessness you transcend time completely there is no time you forget time completely time ceases for you not that time ceases instead it ceases for you you are not in it there is no past no future in this very moment here and now 
the whole existence is concentrated. This moment becomes the only real moment and if you can make this moment the real moment without sex then there is no need for sex. Through meditation this happens. Secondly, in sex for the first time you lose your ego. You become egoless. So all those who are very much egoistic they are always against sex because in sex they have to lose their egos. You are not, nor is there the other. You and your beloved are both lost into something else. A new reality evolves. A new unit comes into existence in which the old two are lost, completely lost. The ego is afraid. You are no more there. If without sex you can come to this moment when you are not, then there is no need. And thirdly, in sex you are natural and spontaneous for the first time. The unreal is lost. The faces are lost as well. The society, the culture, the civilization, your conditionings are all lost. You are a part of the nature as trees are, as animals are, as the stars are. You are part of the existence, nature. You are in greater something, the cosmos, the Tao. You are floating in it. You cannot even swim in it. You are not. You are just floating, being taken by the current. These three things give you ecstasy. Sex is just a situation in which it happens naturally. Once you know and once you can feel these three elements, you can create these elements independently of sex. You would have seen when children are playing, they forget time, they forget at times ego and everything. So this is what it is out of innocence. All meditation is essentially the experience of sex without sex. But you have to go through it. It must be part, part of your experience first. Not just be there as concepts, ideas and thoughts. Tantra is not sex. Tantra is to transcend but you can transcend only through experience, existential experience, not through ideology. Only through Tantra does celibacy happens really. This looks paradoxical, but it is not. Only through knowledge, only through knowing does transcendence happen. Ignorance cannot help you towards transcendence. It can only help you towards hypocrisy. There is a vast difference between ignorance and innocence. The entire journey is from ignorance to innocence, from darkness to light. Enough for now.